five minute call. This is your five minute call with Cecily Stovall. This is your five minute call with Cecily Stovall. Today we have Tommy Martinez on the line. Tommy's top five. Number one, he is currently in rehearsal for the national tour of Kinky Boots. Number two, he just closed Newsies on Broadway. Uh, he's originally from Austin, Texas, and he went to the University of North Texas. And number five, he was a competitive gymnast for six years. Welcome, Tommy. How's it going? It's good. How are you? Awesome. Thanks. So question number one, tell me a little bit about your journey from high school to your time in college to where you are now. I went to college with the idea that I was going to be um, a fashion designer. Okay. And um, I didn't have a lot of money at the time, so I auditioned for the theater uh, department because I'd done theater all through um, high school and middle school and, you know, in choir growing up and everything like that. So I auditioned for a scholarship and I got it and I thought, well, this seems like a good idea. And uh, so I decided to become a theater major. <laughs> and I was a theater major for a year and a half and I looked around and I just realized that the program wasn't really right for me and that um, when choosing a major in college, you should really think about it. <laughs> and so I uh, had seen, when I'd been on a cruise ship, I'd gone on a cruise ship and I'd seen they had shows and I thought, oh, I could do that, that'd be really cool. So I sent in um, a video to a cruise ship company and they ended up hiring me and they told me that uh, I needed to leave in a week. So I called my mom, I said, mom, can I quit college to go to the Mediterranean on a cruise ship to get me <laughs> And she said, absolutely, that's a great idea. So I did those for about five years. And um, then, uh, again, not thinking it through, but just decided to go with it. My best friend on the last cruise ship I did said, I'm, in, I'm moving to New York um, to be an actor. And I thought, oh, that sounds like a great idea. So I moved to New York with her, absolutely terrified, no idea how the New York scene worked, and um, auditioned for the past six years and got my Broadway debut about a year and a half ago. So for you, what was the breakthrough moment? When was the moment that you knew, this is what I'm going to do? Well, I knew just over a year and a half ago that I had to stay in New York. I didn't know how it was going to happen, but I knew that um, I couldn't keep leaving for work, that I needed to stay in New York to really get traction with casting directors and um, with music directors and people in New York that um, are very influential in the scene. So sure, sure. I had seen Newsies on the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And when you're a short, younger-looking performer, there aren't always that many roles on Broadway for you, or even just ensemble tracks, for that matter. So I looked, and I, I saw it, and I said, oh my gosh, that's that's something I can do. And so I really focused on that, honed my skills towards like what the Newsies uh, uh, skill set is, and um, just sort of zoned in on it and hoped that it would happen, because I did, I did have the skill set, um, but I, I just decided... Um, you know, like right around Christmas time two years ago that it was time to stop leaving. Cool. What's your most memorable on stage moment? I, I would have to say one of them was when I was doing the national tour of Wizard of Oz and um, our Dorothy was on stage and I, I'm pretty sure it was a three show day at Madison Square Garden. So we'd gotten to the third show of the day. So we'd been performing for, mm, you know, seven or eight hours at that point. <laughs> Pretty much straight. Long day. Instead of instead of saying to the witch, um, "No, I won't let you," and then she throws the water on her. She goes, "I not let you," and then she threw the bucket. And it was, it was really something. Awesome. Now everybody's dying to know, as am I. What is your favorite pizza topping? Favorite pizza topping is actually a combination. Okay. I love pepperoni and mushrooms together. Deal, deal. And our last question today is if you could tell your 16 year old self one piece of advice, what would it be? I always say this. Um, there are so many people that are looking for things that are not right about you, that you have to look at yourself and you have to tell yourself um, what are the good things about you. You have to celebrate the small victories um, throughout your life. Just, you know, even just going to an audition mm -hmm. is a victory. So. You know, don't get down on yourself because it's so easy to do that. Be be stronger than that. Look at yourself and and just just be be proud of what you're doing, and and work hard. Really is is all I can say. Just be your best friend. Don't ever let anybody um, be mean to you. Like you wouldn't you wouldn't let somebody be a bad friend to you and keep them in your life. 
So you have to be a good friend to yourself. That's awesome. That's such awesome advice. Well, thank you so much, Tommy. It's been awesome to chat with you today. And uh, I know you're off to rehearsal, so thanks for taking time out of the day to chat with us on 5-Minute Call. Absolutely. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.